Hello everyone and welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15 where I'll be giving you three selections for tomorrow's races now before we get on to them quickly just want to reflect on how our tips performed today in the end it wasn't a bad day as we had a winning nap at Newcastle with Omar Moretti we advertised him here on the YouTube channel at 15 to 8 last night however there was a rule for uh, due to uh, Uncle Alistair becoming a non-run I think it was a 30p rule for so that was uh, slightly disappointing there. and in the end I think he went off going even money Omar Moretti but it was a good performance by him I thought the small field would suit him rather than his main market rival uh, come on Teddy who likes uh, big fields he likes to come off a strong pace and he just was never going to get that today and in the end his jumping definitely cost him the race and Omar Moretti there are a few nervy moments I thought during the race but in the end, he was quite a comfortable winner, and I hope some of you were able to back him there. The other tip that ran for us today was Nichols on the dime. He was a little bit frustrating because he was definitely probably going to at least finish second or third. He was going to collect the each way money for us. But unfortunately, he just unseated Tom Scudamore um, at the last hurdle, which obviously means that we, we got no each way return on him. He actually had a bit of a strange race because he was traveling quite well for the majority of it. And then when they were just coming into the home turn, he looked like he was a bit outpaced and he was going back through the field. But then Tom Scudamore, um, during the last couple of hurdles, switched him towards the inside and he was rallying, uh, passing a few beaten horses and was definitely going to make the frame. But like I say, he just unseated him at the last and yeah, that, that cost him his chance. Maybe he's a horse we'll, we're not going to quite give up on yet, but probably not have not got too many more chances to be honest with you it definitely has been a frustrating horse for me to follow over the last uh, couple of seasons and then the other horse we put up was a non-runner at Serval. that was Kular Magic so if you backed him you would have got your money back so yeah overall not a bad day and fingers crossed we can have some winners tomorrow there are some selections at slightly bigger prices and hopefully uh, we can hit the target with one of them and we're going to be going to my long shot of the day which runs in the 235 at Plumpton with a horse called Innes Free Lad for Jack Andrews and David Dennis currently available at 9 to 1 I'm going to recommend a win bet only on this one but a small stakes one a 0.5 win only bet because I think he's kind of a boom or bust selection but I thought Innes Free Lad I think you can forgive his latest run at Newbury okay he was well beaten in eighth place I just don't think maybe the nature of that track suited him plus that was actually quite a warm race he was running in the first two Saint Palais and Gerard Roque um, they're definitely two inform horses that could maybe run in some decent handicaps at some of the, the spring festivals uh, this season you had the likes of Gerard Roque actually already going to finish second in the classic chase so that form received a form uh, boost um, also as well Saint Palais had been in terrific form you know so in his free lad probably just found it uh, found it too tough and I think this is going to be a little bit more of his cup of tea tomorrow I don't think this is actually a particularly strong race I thought top and drop was actually taking um, too much of the market okay she won last time out at Weatherby on her return but she was just taking on mares and not like any prolific mares they were all rated about £10 um, inferior to her, uh, really. I, I don't think they were in the same league of uh, a league as her. And Top and Drop was very entitled to win that run. OK, he, uh, she's got Ned Fox um, claiming 10 tomorrow, which obviously will help her cause. But I just thought this was a little bit of a tougher test. And in his three, I thought was maybe a little bit overlooked here. And if you go back through some of his earlier form, just two starts ago even to when he finished third um, in, in the Borders National at Kelso. If he ran anywhere near that, I thought he would go quite close in this race. He's off a mark now of 127, which I think is uh, still still maybe could be a bit on the high side. But this is a veterans race tomorrow. He's 10 years old. This is definitely going to be a little bit easier uh, than what he's been running up against recently. And I just thought if he ran anywhere near that kind of mark, even a couple of pounds blur I still thought he had a cracking chance of outrunning his odds. Visor goes on tomorrow as well. He reacted well to first time cheek pieces in the Borders National. He's probably for the first tile ground wise. And uh, David Dennis, okay, he's not had a winner from his last four runners. Uh, two of them actually ran okay. One finished second, one finished third. So the horses have been running okay for him since he's resumed the training ranks. And I just thought nine to one here, I just thought quite a few of the horses at the top of the market. They, they've been competing in worse races than Innes Free Lad has and for me I just thought Innes Free Lad brought a little bit of um, class to this race so for me that's why he's going to be my long shot of the day in the 235 at Plumpton 
We then go to the next best, which runs in the three o'clock. And I'm going to go here with Mellow Ben for Tom uh, Cannon and Chris Gordon. Currently available at 15 to 2 with Skybet, who offer him four places on this race. I'm going to recommend a 0.5 each way selection here. Now, I think this horse won't um, go um, I'm back tomorrow. I think they'll, there could be quite a bit of market support for him because this horse is now down to a very attractive mark to 120. And I don't know how the hell he's now running off that mark. OK, last time he, he ran over hurdles, he, he didn't pull any trees. But he's been more prolific over fences on his recent starts. And if you go back through some of his recent form, he's down, like I say, down to a very workable mark. He finished third in uh, Utoxter's big summer uh, handicap chase there off a mark of 125. That was a good run. And even if you go back earlier through his career, uh, back in 2020 last year, so only just over 12 months ago, he ran in the Sir Peter O'Sullivan Memorial Chase. And he finished third there behind Canelo, who went on to win the Roland Merrick Chase and was a very progressive novice chaser. And also as well, you had Christian Williams as Cap de Nord, who ran a couple of times behind Rua Pagai. And he had a smart um form lines next to his name so i just thought mellow ben there that that was off a 12 pound higher mark at newbury uh last year down to a mark of 120 he's definitely very well treated he can go well as well fresh after a little bit of a break and chris gordon's team have been in great form they're, they're going quite well at the moment they were unlucky or they had a good run from highway 102 at the weekend in the lanzarote so the yard have been uh going pretty well and mellow ben like I say, he's got some good course form here. He'll be helped as well by the drawing out ground. 120 looks perfectly workable. This race in the past has been won some by some improving younger horses, but there's not really one that stands out here this year. And Mallow Ben, for me, I thought he had solid credentials, and I'd be disappointed if he couldn't give us a bold run for our money. So, yeah, in the 3 o'clock at Newbury, Mallow Ben is going to be my next best of the day. We then head uh, to Plumpton for the nap, which runs in the 410 back there to the Sussex venue. And I'm going to go again with another Chris Gordon horse, and that is Sammy Bear for Jack Tudor, claiming free. He's riding for Chris Gordon here. Now, this horse is going to be making his handicap debut tomorrow off a mark of 98. He's currently available at the time recording at 15 to 2 Sky Bet, who are from five places. I'm going to recommend a one point each way selection here. Now, this horse, Sammy Bear, like I say, he's making his handicap debut tomorrow off a mark of 98. I actually think that's quite workable. Now, last time we saw him, he finished third over this course and distance behind a horse of Alistair Rouse called Chance. He's now got an official rating of 116. And Sammy Bear, actually, after the last, wasn't knocked about at all. He just looked like he, he was um, having handicaps in mind. Um, he wasn't knocked about. And arguably, I think he could have been given maybe a five or six pound higher rating from what he's shown so far. He's shown a bit of ability over uh, in bumpers, a few glimpses of ability over hurdles. I just thought that this wasn't a particularly strong race tomorrow. And on for Mark 98, I think Chris Gordon has found a, a pretty decent opportunity here. He won't be um, put off by the drawing out ground. He's actually um, got an interesting pedigree as well. He's actually a half brother to On the Slope, who Chris Gordon's had particular success with in the past. Um, did very well as a novice chaser or a couple of seasons ago on the slopes. So, um, yeah, the, Chris knows the, 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 the profile of this horse quite well. And I just saw off a mark of 98 tomorrow, I think this horse could be slightly better than than his mark. I think he could at least maybe have about five or six pounds in hand on what he's showing so far. And for me, I'd be disappointed if he couldn't give us a good run for our money. So that's Sammy Bear uh, in the 410 at Plumpton, the last race on the card there. And he's going to be my nap of the day. So there are the three selections for tomorrow's racing. Let me know in the comments box below what you're going to be back in tomorrow. If you're still enjoying these videos, remember to subscribe here and put and uh, hit the thumbs up button. Also, as well, if you want to follow me on social media, Twitter is the place to do so, where my handle is at LuckyLader15. And if you want to find out a little bit more about myself, my website is www.chrisladerracing.co.uk. So please gamble responsibly. Hopefully, we can have some winners for you tomorrow, and we'll be seeing you soon. <laughs>